Good morning everybody, welcome back to a new vlog. Today I'm home and probably will be for the foreseeable future in the vlogs, uh, so I hope those of you who enjoy my home vlogs will enjoy this content. A little bit of housekeeping before we get into the videos, I feel like I might have to disclaim this a lot. There will be moments of joy, of happiness, in these vlogs because I'm naturally a very positive person. It doesn't take away from the things going on in the world at the moment. So if I say I'm excited about something or happy about something, it doesn't diminish from obviously everything that is going on in the world. We're all still very worried. We all have our own worries. I could list the amount of things right now that I am worried about, but I want my channel to be a place of positivity. So just know that I obviously have a lot of my own concerns, being a friend, daughter, girlfriend, business owner, employer, I have a lot of concerns just in my general life and then for the rest of the human race. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna get into the vlogs, but I did just wanna take that moment because I know that times are tense and it's a very, very sensitive time right now. So yeah, with that in mind, I thought I would do a little get ready with me today. So I'm gonna make myself a little cup of tea, get some skincare and makeup on my face. I haven't even washed my face yet today. I'm pretty sure it's still got remains of my spot cream. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I hope not. Yeah, it's looking nice and glowy though. I used the Tan Lux Hyaluronic last night and I actually feel like it's really starting to build up now, but it's taken like two weeks. So not necessarily my favorite tanning product in the world because I like an immediate effect, but I ain't mad about this, but we'll see what it's like after I wash my face because I feel like it kind of just washes off a little bit, but Anyway, so I'm gonna get ready and then I've got a few bits to show you that arrived in the post and I haven't had the chance to unbox yet. I don't know how much longer we're gonna be having deliveries coming in. So um, I'm gonna make the most of this while I can, to be honest. But yeah, step one, skincare. I am gonna touch my face, my hands are clean. Please don't have a go at me. <laughs> I'm literally in my house and I need to touch my face to do my skincare as well. So yeah, let's get this uh, show on the road. Hello, so we are in my bathroom. But yeah, I'm gonna get started with my Oscar cleanser. I'm gonna pop that all over my face, massage it in, and then take it off with a face halo. And my skin at the moment is doing okay. I have this huge spot up here, which I woke up with this morning, and it is painful. So yeah, I'm just gonna be quite gentle with it today. But apart from that, this one here that I got last week is going down, which is great. I literally haven't touched it. Like, and I mean, like in terms of like trying to squeeze it or anything like that, I'm really trying not to squeeze my spots at all because they scar as you can see so I'm leaving this one as an experiment to see what happens and I'm hoping that it will just like disappear and it won't scar so yeah cross your fingers for me next I'm gonna be using the Oscar vitamin C capsules I have been using these for the past week and they are so great oh no I dropped it no I'll get that in a minute um <laughs> I've been using this for the past week and I really love it it's so glowy on my skin oh my god I can't do this and hold so I've been using these for the past week. I love them. They come in these little capsules and it honestly gives such a great glow to my skin. I've run out of vitamin C serum. I'm really struggling to twist this. It's almost there. Um, you kind of have to pinch and twist, but with acrylic nails, I can't show you what I'm doing. I'd run out of vitamin C serum and I hadn't used a new one in a while. So I was really happy to try a new one. And this one has just been so amazing. It's a little bit fillier than a, like a pump. Like I just squeeze it onto my face like this. It just gives the most incredible glow to my skin I feel like some of it's just like rolled really far down to my eye but it just gives the most incredible glow I am quite obsessed with it pricey but really really gorgeous and I just feel like my skin already looks so much better for using it next I'm going to be using the Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Serum I love this serum it is so great I'm going to drop it directly onto my face just because it's hard to use both hands whilst you're doing a video. That was probably the most poorly constructed sentence I will come out with today. But when I film here, I obviously have to hold things with both my hands, whereas normally I'd put something on the side. So I massage everything onto my neck and a little bit onto my chest as well as on my face, just because the skin in this area is still thinner. So your face skincare will still be doing the most for that area. It's not gonna do the same for like your arms and stuff, but still important to kind of go down onto your neck and chest. This serum is just so hydrating. I really love it. Mm. I almost forgot about eye cream. I'm going to be using the Dr. Dennis Gross Fiolic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. I used to use eye creams, but this has been a real game changer for me. Younger skins do benefit from a serum, so I'm still classing my skin as younger skins. So this has been really great for me. I just feel like it actually really does a lot more for my eye area than a cream would. It sinks in and kind of like penetrates further and I just feel like it's the best eye cream for me. So yeah, that's mostly it. I don't know if I'm gonna do a moisturizer today because I don't really know if it's gonna need it. 
it's difficult to know. I don't think I'm going to have the heating on that much today though. And that's normally how I gauge whether I'm going to need more moisture in my skin uh, because heating really dries out my skin. I feel it like especially here when I've got the heating on. It's a really nice sunny day today. So I think my flat will like naturally warm up. So I'm going to leave it there. But then I've got a few like steps between skincare and makeup, which I'm going to talk you through now. And if you're like a no makeup makeup, look lover you're gonna love these so you could use one of these or both of them together i like both of them together because i'm a bougie bitch like that got the clinique id dramatically different moisturizing bb gel so this just has like some kind of property that evens out your skin's tone just ever so slightly it is like marginal but makes all the difference if you're going to put a light tinted moisturizer on over the top it's almost like you know if you use a primer that has a tiny bit of coverage but it's not so much it's obviously not a primer. You have the BB gel in here and then you have this cartridge in the middle and you can change the kind of effect that the cartridge has. So I believe this is a vitamin C one. I will check that because my memory is terrible and I got sent this like it did blah blah. So I will double check. But it's just really, really great for making my skin look amazing. And then I follow it up with the by Terry Cellular Rose Brightening Serum in Sunny Flash. I am almost out of this. I've got another restock ready and waiting for me. But I love both of these together and they just make for like a really gorgeous, flawless base, like so bloody flawless i am in love with it so for those of you who are at home and working from home and all of that this is a great option to go for both of these both them together or separately they're both still great and some of you may be wondering why is this bitch going to all this trouble to get ready when she's not going anywhere and my answer to that is number one guys this is my job so i will be here entertaining you always always and i will get up and put makeup on every day because that is my job and it would be boring if I didn't for you guys and I'm literally doing this all for you guys because if I wasn't going to be on camera if YouTube wasn't my job I would definitely be home like not putting any makeup on. One of my friends was like I'm going to have the best skin when I eventually go back to work because I will have spent weeks <laughs> with no makeup on. I was like yeah no can't relate because I will still be putting makeup on doing it for the gram. So yeah that is the very subtle difference that it makes. Very 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 subtle but it's just lovely it's a nice last layer as well if you're a no makeup makeup fan and you don't really like putting too much on your skin it's a great last layer to your skincare routine that just kind of gives you a little bit of a lift but still is like breathable minimal coverage and just is a little bit more perfecting i'm gonna go in with the by terry i have actually started applying it like this recently which is kind of weird but i find that my brush sometimes eats up a little bit too much of the product so i just blend it in with my fingers this gives the most insane glow of someone with a lot of scarring on their face it just works wonders like the scarring is still there you can see it but it just makes your skin look so much more healthy and glowy i honestly couldn't live without this now that i have it in my life it's beautiful so yeah that is my skincare to makeup prep routine right i'm gonna get dressed before i put my makeup on something i always like to do so i'll be right back with you hi i am dressed i'm gonna get on with my makeup now i think i'm gonna do uh this kind of pinky shimmery eye look that i've been doing recently and a few of you have been asking about it so i'm gonna do that i'm probably gonna do a few makeup looks coming up so i'm gonna start off by just prepping my lips because they are always so dry and uh, i've been a bit anxious lately so i've literally been like biting them i don't know if you can see on camera but i know I've been biting them so badly. That is the Fenty Hint Hint Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. I really love it. It smells incredible. And then I'm going to be covering up any blemishes, areas that have a little bit of uneven texture, dark circles with the Kevin Aucoin Foundation Balm. I haven't been using concealer lately. I have just been using this. This stuff is insane. Insane. I would very much recommend anyone try this out. If budget permitting, you can get your hands on it because it is incredible. I literally just swirl this brush. This is a MAC 130S brush. I really freaking love this brush. Works really well at like stippling over my blemishes. Yeah, this stuff just covers so incredibly well. Ooh, I'll just pop a little bit around my nose and take the excess up kind of my nose area. What do you call this? Like, I don't know what this area is called. <laughs> it's just so like, blurring and then i also just kind of sweep it under my eye area i don't go too close to my eyes but just like around this area to brighten just kind of apply it like that and then take any excess over my eyes you can see what a difference that makes that's incredible yeah you can see that texture and then we're just gonna and i never worry about taking it up too high because one that is one of the main causes of creasing but also i bring my eyeshadow 
down quite far purely because I always get a little bit of like redness in this area anyway so bringing your eyeshadow down disguises it and then if anything wears throughout the day you can't even tell got a little spot there I'm gonna show you and it's gone and then I just take a small amount and just kind of swish it over the center of my forehead just to even out the skin's texture just kind of like to even it all out as much as possible just so it all looks like quite unified and I don't just have patches that have a product on. But the Biteria CC Serum is also still poking through because I haven't put this over like my entire face really heavily. We've still got that like cheekbone sheen which comes out even more throughout the day which is beautiful. Now for contour I'm using the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Foundation Stick. You know I love my cream products so I just go to town with this for this look. And then I'm blending that in using a Spectrum B02 brush and I just use a kind of swiping motion back and forth to blend this in the beginning and then use like wider circular motions to blend out and always like try and blend upwards so we're not going down and then i also bring it up like this i just find it gives like a really nice sun kissed look and then on my temples i just blend it in circular motions and then across my forehead and then I just kind of work the nose contour in so I like swipe down and then sweep towards my cheek and then I do my chin I always do this mid part of my chin just to give my jaw more of a that shape more than anything because I just have a rounded jawline like I say this all the time but I feel like my skeleton has a rounded jawline I will never be able to get rid of this and that's okay because we have contour. Okay, next I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. This is the Pillow Talk edition. So, what's it called? Yeah, it's actually called Pillow Talk. I just dab a little bit of that over my cheekbones and down this center bit of my nose. And then I just use what is normally my concealer brush from Real Techniques to blend that in. Okay, so you could obviously leave it here if you just don't wanna do eye makeup or anything like that. But I'm gonna do the full shebang today. I'm gonna to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in rose gold on my eyelids. I'm gonna be taking this Sigma E58 brush. Just taking a tiny bit, I've probably done too much. Story of my life. And I'm just gonna blend that over my eyelid and I'm just gonna take that up a little bit further as well. Up a little bit in the inner corner. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. So happy this was one of the best purchases I made this month. I'm also going to take a little bit of my highlighter on a tiny brush. This looks way bigger than it is, but it's tiny. I just literally dab my brush here and then pack that into the inner corner and then just take any excess a little bit further out just to end. Don't want any like highlighter lines. Next, I'm going to be taking the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette and I'm going to be using this shade here just literally pack that onto both sides of my eyeshadow brush and then just sweep that over the eyelid i do one side of the brush for each eyelid you could also add this pink shimmery color as well but um, i'm not going full like sparkle today so i'm going to leave that one but i'm then going to use this shade here on a Real Techniques brush. I've got two Real Techniques brushes that are like this silver kind of like duochrome. Love them, love them so much. And I'm just gonna pop that in the outer corner of my eye. And I just want this to be very subtle and really like beautifully blended out. I don't want like harsh lines or anything. Building that up nice and slowly, working it into the outer corners of my eye. I want this part to still be really like bright and pretty and then I also grab another pencil brush this one is bigger than the one that I used in my inner corner and I love using this one for laying product in my crease no I'm just literally mapping that out it's rough <laughs> it's patchy as fuck and then I also take it underneath my lower lash line as I was talking about earlier and then always like bring it up and out. And then I take this brush from Real Techniques. It's from the same set, same similar brush to what I was using earlier, but a fluffier version. And I use that to buff out the crease color. I always then take a little bit of this under my eye just to make sure I don't have like any harsh lines. So that is it for 
kind of color eyeshadow. I'm then taking my KKW Beauty Matte Cool Toned Palette and I take the brown to begin with onto quite a big angled brush. This is the Zoeva 317 Wing Liner. And I just lay that product on my lash line. Literally in like almost stamping motions. I tend to sweep too much until I've got that initial layer on and then I start sweeping from the outer corner and building some kind of a very soft wing, if you will. This is my favorite way to do a wing at the moment though because you, you can just smudge it out if it's not quite going right and just leave it and it just looks perfect still. And if I have any areas I wanna clear up, neaten up, you know, that kind of thing, I use this brush, which I exclusively use for concealer. So I don't always have to add concealer to it, but I just use it to clear up any areas that aren't to my liking. So yeah, I've got a really soft wing there. And then what I'm gonna do is take the black from this palette on the same brush. I'm just gonna stamp that really, really close to my lash line. And I blend up ever so slightly, just using really soft, light touches. So we've just got this really smoky lash line and when you add mascara it just looks so soft and so pretty okay that'll do that'll do next i'm going to be doing my brows i'm going to be using the anastasia dip brow pomade and i need to remember that the other day i accidentally applied my eyeshadow with this brush so my eyebrows could look pretty scary slightly concerned i'm not gonna lie i'm just trying to take as much excess off on the back of my hand as possible so i'm just using lots of soft light strokes for once in my life i've actually started building up the front which is not normal for me i wouldn't normally do this so yeah once i've done that i then do this very top side here always really structured this part of my brow and then i go a lot softer towards the edges and don't really thicken it out so much or make it as dark because that's kind of naturally what your brow does anyway so i'm just working with what my brow normally does but just building out a little bit more shape to it i'm gonna check this in a minute but i'm pretty happy okay so putting on brow gel after doing your eyebrows is basically the equivalent of putting on mascara after applying eyeliner it just covers up any kind of little discrepancies like basically anything that isn't like perfect so yeah just brush my hairs up kind of up and out so that they all go like that direction. I need to get better at my makeup terminology. I think with the amount of years I've been watching beauty YouTube, I'd be better at this. Apparently not. So yeah, I do that and then just pat it down with my fingers. So that's my brow look. They suddenly got a whole lot bigger after literally just using the brow gel. And now I'm gonna go back and do my mascara. So as always, I'm using the Bare Minerals Lash Topia Mascara. So I always just start by kind of just applying a small amount oh every time a small amount to the roots i'm so cat candid and i really concentrate a lot of product now on this inner part of my eyelashes and i never used to do this before but it makes such a difference and really gives you like that full slash kind of look and then i concentrate a fair bit on the outer corners of my lashes as well and then i take the excess that i have on the tip and I run this over my bottom lashes. And again, concentrating a fair bit on these tiny lashes in the inner corner, they make all the difference to your eyes really looking super wide, but also really sultry. I really like that look, it's very like soft. And I'm just using my KKW Beauty lip liner in Nude One. I'm obsessed with this. Was it worth the insane customs fee? I don't know, but it's beautiful so i'm just applying that really softly and then like smudging it out and then i've got a few little areas where it's just patchy around my lip line so i always even that out and then i apply charlotte tilbury dance world princess mostly to the bottom center of my lip and then i just dab a little bit up the top but i like my top lip to have a little bit less lipstick on it i just think this makes your lips look a lot fuller on the bottom and I like that, I think it like evens out the proportions really nicely. So for my final trick, I'm gonna be adding some blusher. This is a dual blusher in the shade 001 Pink. I'm gonna be taking a Bare Minerals diffused highlight brush, but I really like this for blusher. And I just dab that quite generously into 
product and then I start swirling that on my cheeks in a really small motion to get a really condensed application and then go in bigger swirling motions and then apply a little bit to my nose which I know might be really strange but I just think when you don't just apply blusher to your cheeks but the rest of your skin it just ties the colour in really nicely looks very very fresh very youthful I might say yeah and then just swirl the remaining over my cheek bones and just pop a load on my nose I really like that look of like the sun's hit your nose and it's just like got a little bit of colour on it that's gorgeous I'm so happy with that so that is the finished makeup look and now I'm just gonna add a little bit of this sparkle because might as well today <laughs> why not I want to show you what it looks like so a little bit of that onto my finger what? that is the finished look this is what i have been wearing so much recently so i hope this clears up some of your questions i really hope you guys like it do let me know if you get bored and recreate it tag me on instagram i would love to see that that is it so i'm gonna get on with my day now i'm gonna show you my outfit yes, this is my at home otd i'm not wearing a bra i'm aware let me live please i do need to get a like strapless white bra for this one because my black one it just ain't gonna work but i love this body i just picked it up from all saints and it's very very similar to the one that Rosie Huntington Whiteley and quite a few other influencers have, but costs 800 pounds and I'm just not paying that for a top. So yeah, I picked this one up. There are a couple of other retailers that do some very similar ones as well. So I will show you those, I think in my next video. But this is the one that arrived first and I just absolutely love it. It's like ribbed, so it's like a really similar material to the one that I've seen. I think it's by a brand called I want to say I oh, can't remember but this one's very very similar I would say probably not as thick but it's still really nice it's got that kind of wide chested cut to it and like the other ones basically just go like that and that is pretty much the only difference yeah I really like it and it looks lovely with a pair of light blue jeans these are the Topshop premium mom jeans love these they're just like they're really great mom jeans they were a lot tighter when I first got them but as with most denim they stretch out and they're just super, super comfy. And then I'm wearing my ASOS slippers. So I've just been unboxing some Amazon orders and I thought I would show you what I picked up. So first up we have a bag organizer. I already have one of these, but I thought I'd get a second one for one of my other bags. These are just so, so useful. So I've already got one in this bag here. I might get a larger one though for this because it's a super large bag, but this will fit perfectly in my YSL bag and it's such a good square shape as well. I feel like you can pop them out, but that's just the way they come folded. But this one has, I would say better pockets, like they're bigger. So if you have like a larger phone, I would recommend this one maybe more than the other one. I'll try and link both of them. But this one, as you can see, has much smaller pockets on the inside and two bigger ones on the outside. But I love this one because it has a little thing that you can clip your keys to. And I just think that's really handy. But yeah, I picked up another one of those. These are so amazing for keeping your bigger bags organized. Then I also picked up Liv Purvis's book, The Insecure Girls Handbook. This is such a gorgeous book and I'm really excited to get reading this over the next few weeks. Oh, she's so cute. It's basically like about confidence and yeah, that's the back if you want to pause the video and have a read but yeah i love liv she is such a gorgeous human being i am obsessed with her so i'm really excited to read that and it's just so beautifully designed like i wouldn't expect anything less from her and then i also have a beauty storage wheel Woo and if you want to see me organize this i've just filmed a tiktok putting all of the pieces together on it so I'll link that in the info box. So I think I'm going to leave it there for today. I've got some other videos that I'm really excited to film. Hopefully might be uploading a little bit more over this week. Fingers crossed for that. If I can get my acting together, I want to do more TikToks, more vlogs, just like, you know, I love video content. So there's a lot more of that from me. Um, I'll link my TikTok account if you want to go and follow it. But yeah, I'm going to pop off now because I feel like I've just, this vlog is going to be way too long anyway with all of my beauty chat in it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, and enjoyed seeing what Put on my face i'm really happy with my makeup today really really happy with it it's gone the best that it has in a little while i really love that highlight so pretty so yeah i'm gonna leave it here for today i hope you've all enjoyed this video i hope you're all doing really well stay safe be kind and i'll see you guys again very very soon